Python.x or Python.x? Long story short, Python.x does nothing, Python.x accepts nothing, which one should I use? Test.py CMD window Please tell me what I'm doing terrible wrong. If you don't want a terminal window to pop up when you run your program, use python.exe. Otherwise, use python.exe. Regarding the syntax error, print is now a function in 3.x. So use instead. To summarize and complement the existing answers. Python.exe is a console, terminal, application for launching CLI TypeScripts, console applications. Unless run from an existing console window, Python.exe opens a new console window. Standard stream sys.stin, sys.stout and sys.stare are connected to the console window. Execution is synchronous when launched from a cmd.exe or PowerShell console window. See Ericsson's first comment below. If a new console window was created, it stays open until the script terminates. When invoked from an existing console window, the prompt is blocked until the script terminates. Python.exe is a GUI app for launching GUI slash no UI at all scripts. No console window is opened, execution is asynchronous. When invoked from a console window, the script is merely launched and the prompt returns right away, whether the script is still running or not. Standard streams, sys.stin, sys.stout, and sys.stare are not available. Caution, unless you take extra steps, this has potentially unexpected side effects. Unhandled exceptions cause the script to abort silently. In Python 2.x, simply trying to use print can cause that to happen. In 3.x, print simply has no effect. To prevent that from within your script, and to learn more, see this answer of mine. Ad hoc, you can use output redirection, thanks, at handle. Python.exe your script.py1, stout.txt2, stare.txt from PowerShell. cmd slash c Python.exe your script.py1, stout.txt2, stare.txt, to capture stout and stare output in files. If you're confident that use of print is the only reason your script fails silently with Python.exe, and you're not interested in stout output, use it handles command from the comments. Python.exe your script.py1, null2, and one caveat, this output redirection technique does not work when invoking .py scripts directly, as opposed to bypassing the script file path to Python.exe. See Ericsson's second comment and its follow-ups below. You can control which of the executables runs your script by default, such as when open from Explorer, by choosing the right file name extension. .py, files are by default associated, invoked, with, python.exe. .py, files are by default associated, 
invoked with pythonwo.exe. See here, this URL. Python.exe This suppresses the terminal window in startup. If you're going to call a Python script from some other process, say, from the command line, use Python.exe. Otherwise, your user will continuously see a CMD window launching the Python process. It'll still run your script just the same, but it won't intrude on the user experience. An example might be sending an email, python.exe will pop up a CLI window, send the email, then close the window. It'll appear as a quick flash and can be considered somewhat annoying. Python.exe avoids this, but still sends the email. Se você não quiser subscrever,